Alright, yo, what's going on everybody? It's Smitty back with another Minecraft tutorial video. Today I'm going to be showing you all how to get those individual skin deck skins, or really any custom Minecraft skin, as long as you can get the .png file for it, any Minecraft skin onto your Xbox console. This is my example skin. This is actually on the skindex.com, and here it is now on my Xbox. If you have any issues at all throughout this tutorial, I can definitely help you best at my Discord down below, and I also put a lot of fixes to common issues in the pinned comment. But without any further ado, let's get into how to get these custom skins. The first thing we're going to do is download one file explorer app. So go to your Microsoft shop on your console, and then you want to go to the search bar. And very simple, once you're at the search bar, go ahead and type in My Files Explorer. And you want to download this purple application right here. This is the one. Get that installing onto your Xbox. It'll cost $2.60, but there is a one-day free trial, and if you want a 100% free method to getting add-ons, I'll have a playlist linked down below to some videos that are completely free, but nevertheless, get My Files Explorer onto your device. After you've done that, we're going to go ahead and get the download link to our modification, so go to your My Games and Apps right here, go down to where it says Apps on the left side, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to find Microsoft Edge, every Xbox will have it, and launch Microsoft Edge so we can search the internet. And once here, the first thing we're going to go ahead and look up is just the skin that you want to download. For my example here, I got Smitty058 Skin Decks, there are a couple skins out there that a few viewers made, thank you so much for making those, but this is the part where you just want to go ahead and find whatever skin you want to download off the Skin Decks, and just enter in that link, and then press enter and just get to whatever the skin deck skin page is that you want to right here so this is my example smitty 058 version 3 i press on that link and then every single skin deck's page will look like this so once you're at this uh, page what you want to do is go ahead and find where it says image link right here and once you see image link you want to press a on that uh, little box and after you press a on the box it'll give you this image link url and now we want to hover over this URL and press the button with the three lines on it on our controller. And after we do that, we can now go to where it says copy right here. And we're going to copy this entire image link URL just like this. Then you want to go back to the home page of your Xbox. And now you have to go to the Microsoft shop and download another application right here called Internet Browser. It'll look exactly like this. So go into the Microsoft shop, type in Internet Browser. It's got like the wolf hand thing and get that installing. It will be 100% free. But once you have that installed, here's the next step. So load up Internet Browser, and once you have Internet Browser launched, it'll look like this. You want to press the button with two squares on it on your controller, or two rectangles left of the center button. Then it will give you this URL at the top, and once you do that, all you want to do is press the button with the three lines on it on your controller once you see this. And then you can go to where it says Paste, and we're going to paste in our entire Skindex uh, link right there. And then you can go to this next arrow and press on the next arrow. Your screen will then look like this, and you'll see your skin in the top left corner, and what you want to do is take your cursor and hover over your skin, and press the button with the three lines on it on your controller. And once you press on that button, it'll say you can save the image as, and that's what you want to press. So go to where it says save image as, and click on that. Leave it exactly as it is here, just go ahead and press on save when it says do you want to open or save. Press on save, then you want to wait about 5 to 10 seconds, and then you want to press the button with the two rectangles on your screen or on your controller yet again. It'll give you this URL again. You want to go to the very top right button with the three dots on it, and you want to press on those three dots. Then you want to go down to where it says downloads right here, and once you press on downloads you'll see your skin that you just downloaded, and you want to press on that. Then you want to press on the button with the three lines on it to, to the right of your skin. Go to where it says save as right here, and after you're pressing on save as, we now have to pick a location on our Xbox, so it'll load up this screen right here, and once this is loaded up on the left side, you want to scroll down to where you have this little Xbox icon, second button right here, and press on that. Then after you press on that, you want to go to where it says downloads right here, we're going to find the downloads folder, press on the downloads folder just once, and once you are inside of the downloads folder, then you can finally go down to the bottom right where it says save right here, and press on save, so you now have your skin deck skin saved onto your Xbox, which is perfect for the first step. Now you can go back to the home screen of your Xbox, and we have to download one more skin pack here, so we're actually going to go back into Microsoft Edge, so go back into the first uh, browser that we used right there and launch that. Once inside of Microsoft Edge again, you have to type this in, go into your uh, search bar up here, and type in the Definitive Pack MCPEDL, alright? We're basically going to be swapping out skins in a skin pack here to get your own custom skin. So go ahead, pause the video, type in Definitive Pack MCPEDL, and press Enter. After you press on Enter, it'll be the top search result, you'll see the Definitive Christmas Skin Pack, 25 skins, and that's perfect. Go ahead and press on that first link. 
and after you press on that it'll take you to MC Pedal and once you're here what you want to do is just scroll down to the very bottom and it'll say downloads down here pretty much and once you see these downloads you just want to take the top link that says zip so we're going to press unzip as opposed to .mc pack so uh, click the top option right there after you press on that it'll then say you're leaving MC PEDL it'll say link for ties right here press on that green link to continue to link for ties and after you press on that green link then it will start loading right here you'll see that spinning box and what you want to do is hover over your top URL up here, this top link for ties URL, and press the button with the three lines on it on your controller. And we're going to go to where it says copy right here. And after you have that entire link for ties URL copied, we're then going to go ahead and actually delete it all. So just delete the entire URL at the top up here. And what you want to enter in is linkbypasser.net. We have to bypass link for ties. So go ahead and enter this into the search bar. And once you have that entered in, feel free to press the enter button, and that will take you to linkbypasser.net. And here we are. Now it is a very simple process from here. Just go to this box right here that says basically paste your URL, press A on it once, then press the button with the three lines on it on your controller, and go to where it says paste. And then doing that, that'll paste your entire link for ties link in here. And then you can very simply go to the blue bypass button and just press on bypass. Wait about two seconds and it will give you this output link right here. But instead of pressing on it, you want to hover over your output link. Press the button with the three lines on it on your controller and go to where it says copy link right here and we're going to copy that entire Mediafire link. And after you have that done, you're now good to close out of Microsoft Edge and we can go back into Internet Browser, the Wolf app that we just came out of earlier. So go ahead and launch that. And now since we're back in Internet Browser, it is the exact same steps that we did earlier to get our PNG file. So we're going to paste in that Mediafire link now into the top URL. Then we're going to press the next arrow up here in the top right. After pressing on that arrow, you'll now see this Mediafire page. You can press on that blue download button right there. Once you do that, it'll say, do you want to open or save? So you want to go the exact same steps again and just go to where it says save right here. Make sure it ends in .zip. Just keep that exactly the same. Wait about five seconds, then press the button with the two rectangles on it. Go to the top right to these three dots right here. Go down to where it says downloads yet again. And once you go into that download section again, you will now see your .zip uh, skin pack right there. Press on it. Press the button with the three lines on it uh, once you see it. And once you're inside of that, you want to go to where it says save as. And then just like earlier, we're going to save it to our downloads folder on our Xbox. So the exact same steps here. We're going to go to the left side, go down to the second button right here that looks like the Xbox. Press on it once and then go over. You'll see your downloads folder probably all the way to the right side. So press on the downloads folder. And once you're inside the downloads folder, just go ahead and press the green save button. And that's perfect. We now have the two things downloaded that we need. For the next step, we actually need to download another application onto our Xbox, and this app is called My Files Explorer. So go to the Xbox shop, type in My Files Explorer, it'll look just like this. I believe it's $2.50, there is a one day free trial, and if you want a 100% free method, I'll have it linked down below for a free file explorer. But go ahead and get My Files Explorer onto your Xbox. And now we're going to go back into that application that we downloaded, My Files Explorer, so open up My Files Explorer. Once you are loaded in, it will look like this, and you want to go to where it says install from store right here, and we're going to press on that left button. So once you press on that left button, it will then take you to the Microsoft shop, and it will make you download another app called Expansion for Explorers, and this is perfect. Go ahead and press install on that, and get that installing onto your device. And once that is done installing right here, you'll see it in your recently installed, go ahead and launch Expansion for Explorers. Alright, so now that we're inside of Expansion, what we want to do is go and find that Downloads folder right here because that's where we saved our stuff to, so we're going to press on that Downloads folder. After doing that inside of here, you will see all of your downloads. What you want to do is go to the Multi-Select tool in the top right right here, it's got like three lines on it, second button from the right, and you want to select that. Now after you press on that multi-select button, you want to select both the skin pack right here and also your custom skin, so the definitive uh, skin pack and your custom skin. Make sure you get them both selected, hover over one of them, press the button with the three lines on it on your controller, and go to where it says copy file right here. And if you press on copy file, that'll copy both of those files, which is what we need. So you can go back to the multi-select tool up here now, press on that again to deactivate the multi-select tool, and now you want to go to the left side of your screen and you'll see the packages folder right here and we want to go in there. If you don't have this packages folder, reinstall expansion and then it should show up. But after pressing on the packages folder, you'll see all these different folders. And we want to go ahead and find the Microsoft.Minecraft UWP folder uh, within these folders. And there is a chance that you won't have this folder. If you don't have this folder, I'll have a video link down below. You can basically add in the folder yourself. Very simple. If you don't have it, move your cursor way to the right side of your screen, press the button with the three lines on it, and then go to where it says new folder, and that will allow you to create a new folder, and you have to name it exactly as it's shown on your screen right there at the very top, Microsoft.Minecraft UWP. But I'll assume you have this folder, so if you have this Microsoft.Minecraft folder, go ahead and click on it. 
After clicking on it, you then want to find the local state folder right here. Again, if you don't have the local state folder, you can simply just add it in yourself by going over here, go to new folder. But you want to go and find that local state folder and press on it. Then you want to find the games folder and press on the games folder. And then lastly, you want to see this com.mojang folder and we're going to press on the com.mojang folder. Once you are inside of the com.mojang folder, make sure you have all these behavior underscore packs, resource underscore packs, skin underscore packs, and Minecraft worlds folders created. You need to have those. And because this is a skin pack, we're going to go ahead and look locate that skin underscore packs folder and press on that. Once you are inside of the skin underscore packs folder, find any open white space with your cursor, press the button with the three lines on it, and once you press on that button, you'll then get the option to paste. And we want to go ahead and press on paste, and I'll pretty much paste in our .png file as well as our custom skin pack, which is perfect, and now we just need to manage the files a little bit. So the first thing you want to do is hover over your custom uh, skin pack right here. You want to press the button with the three lines on it, and you're going to want to go to where it says extract right here, and this will pretty much extract it into a folder so that we can access it, which is perfect. So begin that process. It'll take maybe just a few seconds to extract. It'll go get up to 100%, and you will now see the definitive Christmas skin pack folder right here, which is what we want. So hover over this folder, press the button with the three lines on it, and now you want to go ahead and rename this folder to something anything at all it really doesn't matter but just rename this uh, folder to like I just call it the skin pack so just whatever you want to call it just something different go ahead and just name it something the skin pack once you've done that go ahead and press confirm and it will now have that different name now what you want to do is hover over your .png file, your custom skin, press the button with the three lines on it, and then go to where it says copy file right here, and we're going to copy that .png file. And after you have that copied, now you want to go ahead and press on that folder that you just renamed right here, uh, the definitive Christmas skin pack, yours will have a different name. You want to press on it once, then you'll see another folder inside of that folder, and you want to also press on this singular folder, all right? Now once you're inside of that folder, you'll see all of your custom skins in here of that pack, not your custom skins, but the pack's custom skins. And what you want to do is go to the very right side of your screen, press the button with the three lines on it, and go to where it says paste. And once you press on paste, you'll then be able to paste in your custom .png file, which is really cool. So now your skin is in here with all these other ones. But we have to swap that out with one of these skins that already exists here. So what you want to do in the skin pack is you want to find the skin that's name is tt1.png. Once you locate this skin, you want to hover over it, press the button with the three lines on it, and go to where it says delete file, confirm that, get rid of that, and now we have to rename our custom skin to match the name of the skin that we just deleted. So find your custom skin, hover over it, go to where it says rename, and once you press on rename, now obviously we're going to want to rename that tt1. PNG. So if you want to add more than one skin, it's the exact same process of swapping them out. So if you want to add two skins, get rid of TT2, add in your own custom skin, and rename your custom skin so its name is TT2. Same process, you can have up to 25 skins right here of your own making. But now that we've swapped out that one skin, our custom skin has been renamed. We're going to press this back button in the top left just once. Then you'll see this definitive Christmas skin pack folder. Hover over it with your cursor, press the button with the three lines on it, of course. And now you want to go to where it says move folder, and we're going to press on that move folder option. So after we press on move, then you can go back into the top left one more time and press that back button again. And now once you press on this back button, we'll be back into the skin underscore packs folder, which is perfect. You want to find any open white space, press the button with the three lines on it, and go to where it says paste. And that will pretty much paste in your custom skin pack now, and that will put it into its proper location. Once you do that, it'll load for a little bit, and you'll now see your definitive Christmas skin pack folder, which is the one that we want to keep. I go over to the multi-select tool on the top right right now, and we're going to delete the three files that we don't need. The three files we don't need is this .zip, you don't need your .png, and you don't need that original folder that you renamed to the skin pack. So you can delete those three things. Just keep that definitive Christmas folder that is your skin pack now. So I multi-select all three of those things, hover over one of them, press the button with the three lines on it, and go to where it says delete. And there we go, we've now deleted all three of those other objects. We just have that definitive Christmas skin pack, which is all we need in here with our swapped out skin in there. And that's perfect. And now there's one last step that we have to do to load in these skins, and that is the reinstall method. And we have to do this reinstall method in order to load add-ons onto our Minecraft, because with this reinstall method, we're basically going to completely uninstall Minecraft off of our console. And then we go to the Microsoft shop and we download an older version of Minecraft that allowed add-ons. And then we're going to update that version of Minecraft to the newer version, and then we will have our add-ons. 
And kind of a little disclaimer, there is a chance that doing this method could actually set your worlds back in progress or corrupt some of your worlds. There is a chance. That's never happened for me. It does happen to some people. And honestly, I think for the large majority of people, it works fine. But I will give you that disclaimer, and I unfortunately don't know if that'll happen to you or not. I don't know any signs to look out for if your worlds will get corrupted. But I need to let you know there is a risk to doing this. But if you don't really care, this will basically work for you to get add-ons. This is how you do the reinstall method. Okay, so where I'm at right now, I have all my Minecrafts completely uninstalled off of your Xbox. I have no Minecraft right now, and we're going to go to the Microsoft shop. We're going to go to the search bar, and we're going to type in SpongeBob. And you're going to see this Minecraft SpongeBob add-on for $8. Don't worry, we're not going to buy anything. But go to this Minecraft SpongeBob add-on, and once you're at this page, scroll down to where it says Works With right here, and you'll see this Minecraft, and that is the proper Minecraft that we want to install now. And it should say Install right here, and you just want to get that installing. If it says Not Sold Separately or Not Currently Available, go ahead and download the Game Pass version of Minecraft, the normal Minecraft, and open up that Minecraft and have it running in your background and then come back to the special Minecraft and it should let you get it installing. But we're gonna press installing on this Minecraft and that'll send it to our queue. It'll be a little like under a gigabyte there. Let it install. And once this special Minecraft is done installing, it'll go to your recently installed right here and you just wanna simply press on it yet again. And this time it'll say Minecraft needs an update that's zero kilobytes right here. And you wanna go to where it says update and press on that. And honestly, for me on old gen, this update takes like 35 minutes. It takes a long time. If you're on newer gen, it'll probably go faster. But right here, so I just leave my console for about 30 minutes I come back and eventually the special Minecraft will be installed and once your game finally loads up very simple you want to go to the dressing room right here on the right side of your screen after pressing on the dressing room just like you would equip any other skin pull up this left sidebar go up to where it says classic skins and after you press on classic skins get hype because you should see your custom skin up here under the owned skins right there swapped out in that definitive Christmas skin pack and there it is you can now equip your skin and it's really, really cool. Custom skin deck skins on Xbox. Hope this helped you all out. Thank you all so much for watching. It's been Smitty. And until the next one, peace out.